Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be not raining letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. This lot should keep me busy today. Oh, don't forget this one, Pat. Special delivery for Ajay. It looks very important. Special delivery, eh? I'd better take that one round straight away. Come on, Jess. <coughs> Bye, Mrs Goggins. Oh, uh, bye, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Letter for you. I'll be waiting for this. The original documents for the Greendale rocket. It says here the rocket was made exactly 100 years ago today. It's your birthday, old girl. A hundred years old, eh? That calls for a celebration. You can invite everyone here. Have a birthday picnic on the platform. Hey, Pat. I don't know. Look at this mess. And I'm running a busy service to Pancaster today. I won't have time to clean up, let alone organise a picnic. Don't worry, Ajay. When people find out it's the Rocket's hundredth birthday, They'll all want to help out. Tell you what, I'll ask everyone on my round to bring something for the picnic with them. Do you think that would work? Of course. It'll be a potluck picnic. Everyone brings something and we all share. A potluck picnic just for you. Thank you, Pat. That's right, Mira. There are lots of different kinds of celebration. Anniversaries, Christmas, Diwali, birthdays. Now, what do you need for a good party? Balloons and cakes. I wonder what we can bring to the picnic, Jess. Wow. Anything else you'd like in a celebration? What about party games? That's a good one, Julian. And my dad really loves fireworks. Oh, fireworks? 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 Yes, oh, yes. fireworks, eh? That gives me an idea. Looks like that's all we've got time for today, children. Oh, hello, Pat. Is that for me? Talking of celebrations, Jeff, can I speak to the children? Wait, be my guest, Pat. Children, Pat has something to say. Today... Is a very special birthday. The Greendale rocket is 100 years old. <gasps> and I thought we could have a big picnic at the station to celebrate it, with everyone bringing something different to eat. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, how about a great big fruit salad? Well, that's a good idea, Sarah. Mmm, with bananas. And apples. I know. 
Ted's still got that food chopping machine out at the water mill. I could pick it up on my round and drop it off here later. With that, let me champion. Come on, we'd better start collecting that fruit if we're going to have a fruit salad. Cool! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 A picnic? Oh, how lovely. We, we could make, make a, a lemon cake. cake. A, a big shape. square one. <laughs> <laughs> how about you make two cakes? Plenty for everyone. Good idea, Ajay. <laughs> Oops. I better take the rocket to Pencaster. We'll be running late otherwise. See you later. Bye, Bye, Bye now. Aye, I'd love to take somewhat along. What are you bringing, Pat? Something really special for Ajay and the rocket. A fireworks display. Do you know where I could get some from? There's a shop in Pencaster sells them. But how am I going to get to Pencaster and back in time to deliver all this post? You don't have to. I've got plenty of fireworks left over from the party we had last year. I could set up the display if you like. That'd be grand, Ted. Oh, yes, and, and can the children borrow your fruit chopping machine? Course they can. I'll dust down my ice cream maker as well and make some of my special ice cream. Mmm. I'll ask the children to get some extra fruit for you to put in it. Well, then I just need to come up with a plan for the firework display. Now we just have to ice them. Oh! Maybe we better start again, huh? <laughs> Good idea. Of course I'll bring something. Um, how about some of my homemade cheeses? That'd be grand, Julia. See you at the station later. Bye, Pat. A potluck picnic. Oh, lovely. Can we have some fruit, Mum? For the fruit salad? Of course you can, love. There's loads of apples in the orchard. Why don't you all go and see what you can find? Thank you, Mrs Thompson. Thompson. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my heck. Salad with all these. Let's take this lot back to the school and get started. Hello there. You all look very busy. Hello, Bob. We're getting apples for a fruit salad for the picnic. Picnic, you say? It's Pat's idea to celebrate 100 years of the Greendale rocket. Well, that is worth celebrating, I must say. If I could have a few of those apples of yours, I'd make some apple turnovers. Way that would be champion, Doctor. Dr Gilbertson. Thank you, Mira. See you all later. Bye, Bob. Bye-bye. Finished at last. Come on, Jess. Right. Let's get this chopping machine over to the school. Chopping machine. Well done, Dad. Well, that's going to save us a lot of work. Thanks, Pat. Come on, children. We've got a lot of fruit to get chopped up. Do you think you could spare a bit? Ted's planning on making some ice cream to bring along. Have some blackberries. And cherries. And apples. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Ted will make loads of ice cream with this little lot. What are you bringing to the picnic, Dad? Let's just say that Ted and I are planning a special surprise. <gasps> oh! Thanks for the fruit, everyone. All done. Now to sort out the fireworks. Mustn't forget a big bucket of water for safety. <laughs> Wait here, Jess. Yeah. I've got the fruit, Ted. 
Wow, look at those rockets. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, Pat. My heck, heavy stuff, water. Watch out, Ted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mind the... Fireworks. Oh, no. Soaking wet. They'll never work now. I'm sorry, Pat. Never mind, Ted. It was an accident. But what about the display? Hmm. Can I borrow your phone? I'll try that firework shop in Pencaster. Aye, uh, it's just inside. It's all sorted. Ajay can pick them up from Pencaster Station on his final run in the rocket. Won't it spoil the surprise if Ajay sees the fireworks? The shop said they'd wrap them up and leave them at Pencaster Station for him. That way, he won't know what he's collecting. Good thinking, Pat. See you later. Cheerio. With everyone doing something, this potluck picnic is going to be quite an event, eh, Jess? Hey. Just one more trip to Bancaster and I'm finished. I told you we'd get it done in time. Got to pick up a special delivery on the way back. They said it was really important. Don't know why. Well, we'd better not keep you if it's important, eh, Jess? Well? Bye. They both look nice, but... <sighs> I know what you mean. What's the matter? Oh, Pat, we've got two lovely cakes, but neither of them looks right for the Rocket's birthday party. Which one do you think we should use? Well, uh. Yes? I think perhaps... Hmm? <sighs> if you use them both, they look just like... Greendale Rocket. Rocket. Oh, Pat, that's a great idea. Come on, let's finish the icing. Thanks, Pat. I wonder what Pat surprises. I don't know. Listen, here comes your dad. Well, I must say this is quite a celebration. Thank you, Pat. Last job of the day, and it's for you. What is it, Pat? You'll see, Ajay. You'll see. I'd just like to thank everyone for their contributions to the delicious potluck picnic. And as a special present for Ajay and the Greendale Rocket... Ted, are you ready? Aye, Pat. Here we go. Here you go, Ajay. Rockets for the Rocket. Just the 